Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Manhattan Project Energy Empire Cold War which is a new expansion that adds all sorts of modules to Energy Empire. A really great worker placement game of trying not to pollute too much, keeping your energy going, advancing in the United Nations, trying not to end the world with pollution basically. We'll start with a quick look at what's new in the expansion and then we're going to play a full solo game with the new Clash of Nations solo mode which replaces the original solo mode. Before we get started, I recommend you turn on your Klingon subtitles. Any mistakes I make will be corrected there. Thanks, Steve. And let us know if you spot anything else. Bear in mind, they'll probably happen. And if you'd like to support the channel, then you can find links for Patreon or Ko-fi in the description. Your support would be massively appreciated. And it's how I'm able to do any of this. You can also join the Discord. We have a vote every month on what gets played through. That's why we're taking a look at Cold War today. So Cold War is a modular expansion and it adds a load of different things. So first, First of all, just new cards. There are new nation cards to play with. I have chosen Australia just because it was one of the new ones. There are mega structures. There are new structures to go in the market. In our solar game, we get three of them just randomly drawn. They have a requirement to be able to purchase them. So for the metropolis over here, you need two brown and two green buildings to be eligible to buy it. You buy them in the same way. You've got to come to the relevant market. So come to the industry market, the brown one, to be able to buy this. It costs what it says in the corner of the card rather than the space it's in in the market like the normal buildings and they will be worth points pollute have an effect like other buildings do there are espionage cards that each player gets in a multiplayer game this is not compatible with the solo mode uh, because it uses other people's things it lets you immediately use an opponent's structure as if it was your own and they get a dollar for it but their structure has been used up and until you choose to generate and take all your workers back that's blocked off if you want that kind of interaction great i'm never going to bother with that module and there are also new global impact cards, new late global impact cards. One of them isn't compatible with the solo mode, so I've just taken that out, but I've mixed all of those in, so we might see some in this playthrough. There are new structure cards. A lot of them haven't come out. Uh, there is one that I can show you straight off the bat, highway overpass over here. You can activate this to use one of your available workers and immediately use an available commerce location on the board. That's these. Oh, there is another thing for solo as well. There's this little tile that came with the game that shows you that the finance action, rather than choosing how much you get, but other players players also get an amount. In the solo game it's just you get three pounds. And finally there is the Doomsday Clock. This is a new worker placement location that we can come to and it actually needs a worker of a completely different colour on there for our solo mode to make it a bit more expensive to go to. To come here you need to pay the cost that the Doomsday Clock is currently pointing to at the start of the game that's just two gold two money, two pounds, and you can draw three of these Cold War cards Let's have a look at some from the bottom anyway. And they give you basically different types of things where it's like military or satellites. Uh, and at the end of the game, there are going to be points available for whoever has got the most in each category. The points that they're worth is based on the star value that the Doomsday Clock is pointing to. So the more people that have come here, it's more lucrative to be in the lead for any of these things. Second place gets half of the points value. It will also start to pollute and give you nuclear contamination as well as it gets higher and higher. So that's another thing that we can do and it's something that the bot is competing with us on. So unlike us, we start in the usual way. The bot gets six of its workers and basically all of its workers and all of its energy. It's just blocking our spaces, but rather than the same spaces being blocked off just statically in the old solo mode, uh, it will change based on these cards that we draw. In the early phase of the game, so until this third stack of pollution has been emptied. We use the early deck of Clash of Nations cards, later on we use the late deck, and it's going to tell us two places on the board that the AI is going to try to block off, and it might move on the United Nations track, take some achievements away, take some structure cards away, just change up the game state a bit more rather than the original solo mode was. Play with some restrictions, but you are largely free to forge your own path in there. So we take the first turn and on your turn you either work or generate. You only generate when you need more energy or you need your workers back. So we're not going to do that. Generally you'll be working. So you put a worker on a location somewhere, either on the main board or the doomsday clock, and then you'll activate any structures. So the building cards that we can get, you'll activate any of those that are the color of the place that you went to. So if I go and do some finance, that's in the yellow section, and I've built some yellow buildings, I can choose to activate those. They will require some kind of energy or worker cost, but it's ways of getting more out of your turn. The other bonus of the doomsday clock actually is that you can activate 
any of your structures for having come here. Now, all of these places that you can see a worker icon on are worker placement spots. And the way that it works is you need a higher stack than the person that's there already, even if it's you. So at the moment, I can go anywhere with one worker, but say that the bot has come to scientific research first and I really want to go there, I've either got to send two workers or I've got to send a worker and an energy. I can't just send energy out to the main board. Uh, but yeah, basically the stack is not ideal from a bird's eye perspective, but the stack is taller than the one there before. So if the bot would want to come, they'd need to put two energy under a worker. And it escalates like that if people want to keep using the same thing over and over again. I think something I want to get in on early, I've started with a steel. I think I'm going to get a power plant. Now it does use up my resources. I'm not going to have any brown buildings to activate from this. So it feels a bit wasteful in that respect. But I'm going to come over to the power plant and here we can choose a power plant to purchase. So I have started with a coal power plant. We'll see in a generate turn how these work, but they will give us a certain amount of energy, which helps us place workers, helps us activate more structures. And depending on the type of power plant that you get, it may pollute. So hydro geo power plants here cost a steel to get. You can only have one and there is only one blue die in this solo game. We are limited. This little display at the top is how many dice are available for our game. So I think I'm going to take that to make it a bit easier to generate later. That's my steel gone. And this little icon here says that I need to pollute. I take a pollution token from the top of the leftmost stack on the board here, and I need to place it in a forest section of my player board. Uh, it's my choice. It's basically going to restrict me from being able to gain points. These spaces here I'm leaving empty just because I'd be able to do some oil drilling in those spaces. That's why they've got the oil icon. Coming over to the bot, we draw a Clash of Nations card. The rest of their mat isn't really used, so we can just draw their card and it's going to tell us some things. We place a worker, so I've put them in stacks of three. They're basically going to take three turns and then they're going to generate and just cycle around like that. They're going to place a worker in each of these spots. So they're going to place a worker in the government market and discard the card that's in the middle. They don't actually build structures, they're just getting rid of it. Whenever structures are taken, you just slide them all along to the left and refill them. So we've got something new that's available there and they're going to scientific research. They don't actually do the actions, they ignore the icons on all of the stuff. They are just now blocking those spaces. If we want to go to those actions, we have got to spend some energy or more workers to be able to do that. Then we look at the icon, if any, in the top right of the card. This has got the achievement symbol. So we can come to the achievements section of the board. These are things that we can claim when we generate. They'll give us more points for fulfilling different criteria. The bot is going to take one away. So this healthy forests here, a point at the end of the game for every unpolluted forest space in your environment, they're taking it away. And putting it on the card just helps us keep track of what's not going to come up. So if we are hoping that that's coming in, it's gone. New achievement comes straight back in. That's uh, energy reserves, a point for every energy token you've got at the end. Time for our turn again, I think. I've made some plans for the future now with some energy. I'd like to build something. I'd like to have a structure. I have got a bit of money. I'm going to come over to the commerce market over here. And I'd like to buy a building. I want this oil broker here. It costs me two money or a plastic. So I started with three, so I'll pay the two money. I don't have a plastic. And I can take this. It's worth some points to me, three points for building that. But now I have just placed my worker in a yellow spot so I can spend a worker or an energy to activate my building. And this lets me buy some oil, either sell three barrels for a certain amount of money or buy three barrels. The cost is determined by this space in the board. So as the game goes on, it's gonna get more and more expensive. At the start, it only costs one money for that. So I can spend my money and get three oil barrels. This can be traded for all sorts when you do chemistry, you can use it when you're generating to get more energy that way as well. So I'll pop them on my play board. Oh, we need to refill the commerce buildings. I've got a fishery there. Gain a dollar for each unpolluted ocean space. I haven't polluted my ocean at all yet. Over to the bot and they are going to go in the commerce market. So they need to place there, but I'm already there. So they will use one of their energy to make the stack that they need. So if I want to go there now, I basically can't. It would need a worker and two energy at least. They're also getting rid of the highway overpass. So the fishery gets a bit cheaper, but worker cost is pretty high to go there. Uh, residential solar, another new card. When you generate, gain an additional energy. That's quite nice. So that's not a building you actually have to go and activate. And they're also going on finance. That's a bit of a shame. I might have gone there just to get some money. Probably won't spend my worker and my energy doing that, will I? 
Probably not. We check to see if there are any symbols in the top right corner, and there is a contamination symbol. They take the top token off here, and we pop it on this card on its contamination side. When this stack's empty, there are four tokens per stack in the solo or two-player game. When this stack's empty, we're going to resolve the first global impact card. Okay, we've got one worker, one energy left. Now, energy's wasted if you don't use it. I don't... I would like the money. But I think I'm going to come over to chemistry here. We just got all this oil. I'm going to spend one of my oil to get two plastic, a science, and unfortunately a pollution. Two plastic, a science. The pollution comes from here and I can put it anywhere. I kind of want to leave my ocean unpolluted and try and get this next turn. It might be a good money generator. Now we'll pop it in the forest for now. And Because one thing that I can do that I can activate whenever I've gone somewhere is to spend a steel and two money to advance on the United Nations track. There's big points to be had. Up to 17 points if you can get all the way to the end. Actually, 20 because the person in the lead gets three extra points and only one person can be in the last space. Every movement uh, costs an activation of that. So it did give me three money and a steel. I could have spent two money and a steel to do that bonus action, but I wanted to do other things. Bot is going to go on the government market and education. So the government market will need an extra energy and then education is just blocked off a bit and another contamination symbol so we take this off there and it's going to trigger a global impact card and so this is going to tell us some things we're going to score i am going to score for how many uh, places in my forest are unpolluted now there are ways in structures in the scientific research action to look ahead at these cards and know that that's coming i didn't but I can get three points for that. We're refreshing the commerce buildings. Oh no, they all go away. So the fishery I really wanted. Waste of time keeping the ocean unpolluted now. Well, that's not a waste of time, but game terms. Okay, I could spend some oil to get some plastic there. That's nice. And then free trade immediately in turn order, starting with the active player. Each player gains $2 and then may trade as if they're doing the trade action. That's good because I've got no money. So I could trade the $2 that I've got for a steal. I could trade the science I've got for a steal. Yeah, I'm going to trade my science for a steal. Okay, back to me, and we're going to have to generate now because I can't do anything with just one energy. If I had two things left, so if I generated last time, I could have claimed an achievement, but I haven't. So all of your workers come back, your energy just clears away, and then we're going to roll our energy dice in a minute and work out how much we get for the next round. If I want more, I can spend... A barrel each to get a temporary brown die to get some extra energy out. But I don't think I will. I think I'll hold on to them. So I roll my available dice. And this table shows you the results that are for each dice. We look at what we get in terms of energy. So I'm going to get four energy for this round. That's quite nice. Then we go to pollute. You look at the highest number you rolled on your dice. And if that die has a pollution symbol on it, you're going to take a pollution. So the pollution symbols are on the black brown dice. The contamination is on the nuclear dice. Contamination is harder to clean up. Now, if there's a tie like there is here, you get to choose. So I'm going to say blue is the highest. It does not pollute. We still need to get rid of a token. We take it off the stack and discard it back to the supply. So that's good. We haven't had to lose an extra space. And that's my turn generating. It's exactly what the bot is going to do now as well. So without looking at a card, we place it face down at the bottom of one of their stacks, take a pollution token and pop it on that card. And if they triggered an event, we'd do that now. They haven't. Actually, this one isn't ongoing, so we can get rid of it. Oh, they need all of their things back, of course. I was just going to say, oh, the, the board's still pretty full because I haven't cleared them off. So we have steel. We can buy stuff with steel or money up here. We've got a bit of money as well. I'm going to come straight to the commerce market over here. I want this toy factory. I'm going to spend a plastic to get it because I've got a couple of that. So that is worth some good points, but it does unfortunately pollute my forests even more. We're going to have to think about cleaning up soon. And I can activate any of my yellow buildings. I've got energy to do it. This could be workers or energy. It does require two, but I can spend one of the oil that I kept to get three more plastic. So we've got a load of that. Do I also want some more oil? It still costs one at the moment. I think so. I'm going to buy... Use the energy, buy three oil. And at the commerce market, we've got mass transit. 
So you could use that to get yourself a, a point and a money. Bot starting a new stack and now has got a symbol. Now they're competing in one of the categories of the Doomsday Clock. So maybe it's about time I step up and start going there. They're going to go on the government market and the cleanup action. I did get rid of my science, but you can you spend a science here to get to cleanup. Now cleanup gets rid of pollution and oil wells that you've put down. If you've got contamination, it flips it for one cleanup and then gets rid of it for a, a second cleanup. So you can also get cleanup on structures. It also tells us in the top right that you know, kind of makes sense because they've got one of these symbols. They advance the Doomsday Clock one space. So it's now worth, that's worth two points to them. They're leading in a category. Maybe I need to go over there. Now there is permanently a worker here, so it will cost me, it costs two money just to go there. For now, let's concentrate on something else. We've got all of this plastic. Oh, I don't think I refreshed the, the green card. They should have taken a green card away. Unfortunately, that had the cleanup on it. That's what I have my eye on. I can spend plastic to get clean up here, but it's a bit expensive at the moment. I think I'm going to pop over here and get three money. Bot is going to, or well, they're getting an achievement. Now they, they don't score the achievements, they're just taking them away from me. So they're going to the industry market and chemistry. Uh, I don't think I was going to go to chemistry. They're taking the left card, the supply chain. So that cleanup one is, oh, the recycling center is now only one. It would cost me the worker and the energy to go there, so I wouldn't be able to activate it. But plastic for cleanup is looking all right for me at the moment. Oil refinery comes out, gaining oil for every oil well in your environment. I haven't got any of those at the moment. They're also going, they're taking the point per nuclear contamination achievement away. And a new one comes out, cultural heritage, point per government structure, the green buildings. Haven't done any of those just yet. We've still got stuff. Now I wanted to come over to education. It's why I got that money. I can get myself a new worker who is going to be available immediately, but unfortunately it also gets me a pollution. I think let's let's put it in the ocean for now, which means we've got to resolve a global impact. And let's have a look. Cheap imports. We're scoring ocean. So a bit sad that I chose to put it there. Uh, we're refreshing the commerce again. So we've got import company, a money for every unpolluted sky space and spend oil to get either steel or plastic and a point. It's quite nice. And the impact card tells us to immediately place a plastic on each commerce board location. So you will gain that for going to that location next. And if the bot goes there, it just gets thrown away. Bot's turn and they are going to go to the government market again. So they're going to need an energy. They're taking away the enrichment facility public infrastructure gain a dollar for each commerce and each industry structure you own well i have got a couple of commerce might be good to think about later and they're going on cleanup and taking another achievement a point per worker minus one so that would have been decent I've got, that would have been worth three points straight away more if i could get more of my workers later uh, what comes out though is a point per oil barrel seem to be decent at getting oil and oil now costs us two okay now i've got a worker and an energy i could repeat somewhere i've only got one money I've got some plastic though if i wanted a structure i think what i'm going to do is go to the trade action and get this plastic so you've got an unlimited number of trades i'm going to trade a plastic for two money i'm going to do that twice and then so we've got one if cleanup becomes available i'm also going to trade a plastic because we can get the plastic here i'm going to trade a plastic for a science as well i think i'll leave it there my energy is going to go on my nation card and I'm going to spend a steel and two money to advance in the United Nations track. So I've got four points there now. Bot is resting. So I take a pollution and pop it on the card and all of their stuff comes back. We've got to generate now. Falling behind a little bit. I've got nothing spare so I can't claim an achievement. I need to think about that. Uh, all of my workers come back. I've got four of them though. Refine oil. I think I am going to refine one oil. So I'll get a brown dye temporarily. And getting more dice is a good thing as well. They're all worth two points at the end. And let's see what we can get. Okay, so the highest number. Absolutely on that oil die. We are getting more though. We're getting seven energy this turn. It's good. All this energy should have been dumped, shouldn't it? So that's quite good. But the highest number is definitely pollution. So we've got to take a pollution off the track and put it somewhere. Ocean. Yeah, we really need to think about cleanup. But I've got the science. Could go straight there. Well, I don't know. It might be blocked off. Okay then, it's time for the bot, who is going to advance in the United Nations track in a minute, going on the commerce market and the trade action. So that plastic's gone, taking away the pound for each unpolluted air. What's coming in is get two money and a point, and they're advancing on the United Nations track, catching up with me. Now I have got 
three money, I could get this recycling center, turn a plastic into one cleanup. Could still do the action later to get two cleanup there or save the science for getting like solar wind. Doesn't provide as much energy, but it won't pollute. And it could be your highest number and cancel out pollution that way. And it'll be something to activate if we get power plants in the future as well. Yeah, let's get this recycling center. So that can come down here and I'll activate it immediately. So spend a plastic to get a cleanup. Let's clean up the forest a little bit. Bot is going to the commerce markets again. So yeah, probably not going to get to go there at all. And they're going on buy and sell oil and they're advancing on the United Nations track. I am going to go on finance just because it's still available. I'm not going to have to spend a load of energy to go there and I'll get this plastic and the three money. I'll get to activate all of my stuff with all this energy that I've got. So I can turn an oil into three more plastic. I can buy more oil. It does cost two now, but it's only going to cost more later. And we have got uses for it. We could use it in chemistry or all sorts of stuff. Oh, we need another brown building. Plastics factory. Just get a plastic. So these ones here are cool because you can activate them twice, like separately. So there's only one worker or energy to do, but you've got two opportunities to do that. So if you're repeated like brown actions. I can't do my special action, unfortunately. I'll pop my dice back. Bot. I feel like you've got to try and stop the bot playing loads of cars. I'm not doing a very good job of that. They've got something again on the doomsday clock and they're not advancing it. They're in the pollution there and they are going to the industry market and the mining action when they're getting rid of the middle thing. So the new building that comes out is a small steel mill. I could really do with that. Can't really get it at the moment. I think I'm going to go with some energy generation. I'm going to spend a plastic and that science, bearing in mind that I do need to clean up some point in the future. I'm going to get a solar wind plant. And then Bot is cleaning up again. They're taking the last pollution from the track. So there's going to be some global impact. Let's take their workers back. And the global impact is going to be moon landing. Score your oceans. So that is three points for me. Not getting a lot from these. Uh, refresh. Oh, unfortunately, we're never going to get that small steel mill. I don't think there's more. Yeah, there's two in the deck. Oh, we get regular steel mills and a railroad. So might have made it better, actually. And it tells us, until another global impact card is triggered, players may freely discard science tokens and you get a point for every one discarded. I'm not great at getting those. Okay, I've still got a worker and plenty of energy. I don't think there's a way of us going up the United Nations. Although we can, with two energy left over, we'll be able to get an achievement, which will be nice. Unfortunately, I can't afford a steel mill. That's what I'd really like. Because then, as well, that's two yellows, two browns. We could get the international corporation, which is what I've accidentally been working towards. All the power grid, actually. We've got two dice and we'd have two browns. I think let's go for some more trading. Trade some of this plastic away, or maybe most of it, but we can get it back pretty quickly as long as we don't want the most expensive building. Three plastic, I'm going to get four money and a science. And do you know what? I'm going to turn two of that money into a steel as well and then use an energy to advance on the United Nations track. Two money and a steel. I would like to keep that, but Let's try and keep up with him. Oh, now we've had that global impact. They move to their late deck, which I assume is not going to be good for us. Okay, so even more in these doomsday clock categories. They're not advancing it though, so winning the categories isn't worth very many points. I haven't really gone there. I wasn't going to include it though until the last minute. But why not? Show it off. So they're going to the power plant action for the first time and going to clean up. Yeah, that is... <laughs> I probably want to go to clean up. I did get the science for that and get in a nuclear on there. I am going to have to generate. So we do have two or more tokens left so I can claim an achievement. What would be best? We might generate a load of energy. We might have a load of oil. I'm not particularly sure. We can buy it, but I'm not great at getting money as it gets more expensive. I've got none of those. I don't know how much energy I'm going to have, but we'll know to work towards it and try and get more, won't we? Point per oil. Let's try and hang on to it. You can always do some oil drilling or something. So we've got that for the end of the game. And it's replaced with leading consumer. A point per structure you have with a red arrow on it. That's three at the moment. So we get our workers back and throw our energy away. And then refine oil. Do I want... I kind of want to keep the barrels now. But I would, I would like more energy. Especially as we've got more of this stuff to generate. And I, I would like to keep getting achievements. We'll do one now. I would hope to have, we have got a science and a plastic. We could come and get power plant later. It's just, it's expensive while he doesn't generate because I was blocking the space off. Yeah, let's get an oil for now and hope that 
we get non-pollution with the highest numbers and we've got let's rearrange my buildings a bit actually not ideal for this camera angle there we go six is on the non-polluting so we have got eight energy only one more than last time but we're not polluting anything so we just discard a token off the track bot is getting an achievement they are claiming the point per green building new one comes out point per yellow <gasps> is it going to be there by the time we generate and they are putting some workers out at the commerce market and taking away this spending money to get plastic what's coming in airport spend oil to get money in a point and the trade action okay what do we want to do the most power plant's a bit pricey we could wait for them to do something i think i need some cash i'm going to come over to finance and get three of it but then let's activate the things so for two energy we can spend an oil to get three plastic i don't really want to buy oil now that it's three that's all the money that i just gained to do stuff with it will hold off we might not be using that this round great earlier but later on i haven't really had another way of getting income just yet yeah we'll, we'll have to be happy with that the bot i need to get pushing with the end of the game they're getting too many things leading consumer is gone and they are going out on the commerce market so probably not buying any of those structures at the moment and the finance spot they are going to generate next turn though just got tons of points pouring in while these late cards keep coming out four five six all of this just getting added on their total we've got some money now though so i can afford a steel mill so slide them along and we've got the railroad i'm going to activate it get a steel and we can activate the recycling center as well because we, we are actually polluting the sky doing this, so I think I'll just use my cleanup from the recycling centre. Spend a plastic to clean up. Cancel that out. There is another few points from buildings. I don't think I'm in a position to do anything right now. I'm being hurried. Right, the bot is going to generate, so another pollution goes on there. Oh, I do need to take a pollution off the track, don't I? So their pollution is triggering a global impact. So this is gone now. Get all of their workers off. We're now into the bad global impact market crash. So score the ocean spaces. I've got three unpolluted. We refresh the commerce buildings again. Gain money to the current price of oil. That would kind of solve our we can't afford oil problems, wouldn't it? And then until another global impact card is triggered, players must pay an extra dollar to buy any structure, even if paying with steel, plastic or science. I think we are just going to go to the commerce market and buy that with plastic and now, unfortunately, a dollar also. It pollutes the skies. And then let's use energy. So gain money equal to the current price of oil, but then I'm just going to buy some oil. So we've got three more there. I've got three things left. Should I activate my United Nations and then we just generate next time, perhaps? I'll slide these along and something new comes out. Shopping mall. Spend a plastic to get three money. I could do with that. If we did do a brown action next time, I could do the steel mill again, though. No, I, th I think let's just do this now. Two money and a steel to progress on that. And we'll generate next time the bot is going to need some more space of course so they are placing on the government market and education i wanted to get more workers as well and they are polluting and getting five points i'm going to generate so we have got two things left i've got to work around an energy oh and there's an achievement space without an achievement on it oh a point for each resource type held so each of the different things you've got something in at the end I think a point per commercial, that's three right now, and we'll probably get more. That's what I'll go for. New one that comes out. Maximum is five points out of anything, so there's no point holding on to a million oil. Uh, a point for every $2 you've got at the end. I am going to pay for an oil because I think we can kind of afford now that this is happening, although it might end up polluting. So we've got the highest number was unfortunately on the oil die ones on these. And one of the mega structures would have let us re-roll any ones. But that all we're getting is six energy. Could have spent more oil, but I thought we'd be okay. And we're polluting. So not great. Bot is polluting again. So causing another, uh, the market crash is going to be over. But they are placing in the green market again. Get rid of this card. And what comes out? Legislature. Place a dollar from your own supply onto any board location to gain a point. So whoever goes there next will get uh, that point. And they're also going on an education, so probably not getting another worker. I think I'm going to come out to the commerce market. I'm going to get this shopping mall. So can't really see it zoomed in as much anymore. Doomsday clock's in the way, not that I've really gone there. He's only turned it once though, so I don't feel as scared about the amount of points he's getting from it. Because if I go there, I'll make it worth more. I think he's only getting four points from winning two of the categories. So it's costing me two plastic to do that. But then we will activate 
this to spend an oil to get three plastic, spend a plastic to get three money. And then I think I'm just going to activate this one, gain money equal to the current price of oil and not do the oil broker. So that's four more money. New building is stock market, get three money, everyone else gets one. The bot is polluting again. Oh, no, we needed a global impact last time. So ocean scored, one, two, three, forgot about that. They cleared, but I didn't take one of those, so that doesn't affect my turn still. This might have. Oh, drill an oil well as if you were doing the oil drilling action or buy an energy die as if you were doing the power plant action. That's very nice to have. Turn oil into three steel. <gasps> I need that. Okay, it was hostage crisis. Each player takes any one of their workers and places it on this card. That worker remains on this card until that player pays $4 to return the worker to their player board. Now, the bot is completely unaffected by these things. So yeah, maybe I want to use some of that newly gained money. Okay, so the bot is placing out in the industry market and the mine action and taking away the chemical plants to so an oil into two plastic and an iron mine comes out so we can get a couple of steel i think i need to pay that money to get my worker back to try and get anything meaningful done we're racing towards the end i need some steel so i can do the united nations i feel like that's the only thing that i can really do i think cleaning up will be very useful as well i do want steel clean up for now use that science to clean up there are bonuses for having these columns unpolluted at the end here as well. I was polluting them early in case I might have gotten oil wells, but I never did. Bot is going to generate. So a pollution comes here. There's two pollution left in the game. I, think I am going to come and mine. Let's get a... Oh, that's an energy, not a worker. I'm going to get a steel and then let's activate some workers. Steel mill there, get me another one. And then the recycling center, pay a plastic to clear another space off, see if we can get that column empty. I regret my placement decisions from earlier in the game. The bot is just about still on camera. They are polluting. It's going to end the game when I generate in a minute. Oh, and I haven't even got two things left for a, what you call it, an achievement. So I think I might as well just activate my stuff, my, uh, my thing, stealing two money to go along the United Nations track. I'll hopefully be in the lead for that, hopefully. They're not moving up it again, they're polluted again. They're going on the power plant and scientific research. I wish I'd taken the points for energy now because the last thing I am going to have to do is generate and it's going to trigger the end of the game. We will get one more turn, but I won't be able to claim that achievement on it. Should I have like not claimed that? I might not be the leader then. It's at max five points for being the energy token. No, let's leave it the way it was. So we'll generate, get rid of all the energy, workers back. Now it's unfortunate, I want my action to clean up I can get these columns free, but I also want to activate here because I could spend oil now and be getting it back because the money isn't worth anything to me, is it? There's no point in me having tons of energy though, is there for one action? No, don't spend any oil. Let's just roll these, see what we get. Ah, ones, one, one, one. We get three energy. So I suppose it's good. We've only got a single action to do. I don't know if it's going to let me do much, but at least we're not polluting. So that goes away. The end of the game is triggered and we have um, one turn each. So the event, electromagnetic pulse. Water is scored, so four points there. Commerce buildings are refreshed yet again. Oh, well, this is one of the new events. I've been keeping track on which are the new ones. Until another global impact card is triggered, players must discard two energy immediately after they generate. Or all energy if they have less than two. So bot goes, going further up on one of those categories place in on power plant and buy and sell oil and then it's i get the last turn of the game we each get one more turn after the end is triggered so another yellow building would be nice so i suppose i was building up the steel as well to get that international corporation would have been worth eight points so let's you when you place a worker on the board you may buy energy from the supply to include in the stack underneath that worker better if you generated money though i thought i was going to generate some money i think the best thing to do then is to come and get a structure because I've got plastic that I can spend. We can come here, get this farm. Unfortunately, it's going to pollute. Get pollution from the supply once it's all run out there. Let's keep these columns as empty as we can make them. It's going to get us a point for activating it, I suppose. And in terms of the things we want to activate, money equal to the current price of oil and then gain three oil because I need one to get the maximum five points from my achievement. I've got the maximum five points from the yellow structures now oh and the farm as well two money and a point oh and i have just about got a steel and two money so we can go up the united nations track and get to the end of it 
That's all right. OK, so my end game scoring, you can just see all the points that are on here. You get points for the structures. 6, 11, 14, 18, 21, 25. Puts on 46. Two points for each energy dice. Where's they gone? There they are. So six for those. Points on the United Nations track. I'm in the 17 space and I'm in the lead. So that's 20 points. And then the environment, a point for each space, three, six, nine, ten points, plus three for this column being empty is 13. Usually better at polluting less. Oh, and our achievement, a point for every yellow building, one, two, three, four, five, and a point for every oil barrel to a limit of five gives us another five. So 95 is our final score. Looking at the bot, they're going to score points for every card that they played, including the face down ones. So it's just going to be 10, 15, 20, 29, 35, 48, 52, 55, 58, which takes them right the way up to 91 already. Oh dear. The United Nations track, they get 8 4. So if we weren't including the Doomsday Clock, they're only just beating us. But we're going to get no second place points because we were never here. So they've got basically two of the three categories. Oh no, they've got all three categories. Oh yeah, the face down ones. So yeah, the, the, the clock is only on two points though. So winning each category gets them two points. So another six points. So it's not really factored in because I didn't really go there. And they only turned the clock once. There were more cards that could have turned the clock if they'd come out. Not tons of them. But there we go then. A losing score. I think we cobbled together something. But yeah, didn't really manage to get a cohesive thing going until a bit too late. But it is one of those. It's a very competitive thing. It's nice to have like a more dynamic opponent. But it is one of those opponents that like a lot of the ones in the Alexander Fister games that really, really hurries you along. Like they're taking a ton of this pollution and... It's not necessarily better taking more actions. You want them to have less of these cards out there. And you don't have to play it with all of the modules. I thought show off as much as I can. Even though I didn't really go there. You've seen how it works and how it scores. Like it's easy to just chuck in the extra cards in the stacks. You don't have to have the mega structures and the doomsday clock and everything turned on all at once. But there we go. That's Manhattan Project Energy Empire Cold War. Hope you enjoyed that and it gave you a good idea of what the game or the expansion is like. If you'd like to just see the game without this expansion, then I've done a couple of playthroughs for that that you can see with the original solo mode. And there's tons and tons of other playthroughs on the channel you can check out as well. You can subscribe to see when new ones go up. Uh, you can support the channel on Kofi and Patreon. They're linked in the description. Uh, massive thanks if you can do that. Uh, but for now, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you for the next game. Bye everyone.